Dorota Pańska International New Artist and Educator here. I'm in with Hannah and today we are going to do her natural news. Uh, we have already sanitized the hands obviously and I have I've even started pushing back the cuticles but then I realized like okay we're going for something different so I want to show you the video as well uh, of how they have been done. I'm going to file her natural news uh, into the shape but obviously we've got some which are much shorter so I will also show you how to put a small uh, small extensions on them as well. And we're going for a cute design. Nice and bright for summer. So I'm just shaping the natural nail and filing around the cuticle. Then on two nails we have to put a small extensions, like really tiny, because it would be a shame to shorten all those nails down so much. Okay, so that's the nail where we're going to put a small extension. And for the natural nails I like to use the fiber in a bottle um, or the upvoted sock of gel so here i'm scratching the full surface of the natural nail same in here full surface of the natural nail now for this part guys i've got the camera right on front of my nose like totally like i'm actually looking for a view in a camera rather than what i'm doing um unfortunately i will need to move it for the next part of the video but i wanted to show you like as close as possible so that's a Nails where we are going to put the extensions. And with the file for a um, gel polish application, I'm only really touching it up at the free edge and around the cuticle area. The rest is going to be just nicely buffed. We don't need as many scratches um, for the gel polish application as we do for the extensions. But because this area is always the most difficult one, like most prone for lifting, I always like to give those two, three extra scratches with the file. And I'm using 180 grits. So like for extensions, you guys see me working with the blue file. Why for the natural nails? Um, I mean, I do use the blue file for natural nails as well, but I'm uh, more of a 180 side rather than 100. 100 would be far too strong grit for a natural nails. Okay, file those free edge. And the thumb. Now my next step with the natural nails uh, is different to the extensions because you guys see me doing the cuticle work after I have finished the filing. So um, here with the natural nails I'm doing it slightly different uh, because we we are going to apply the gel polish as the next step really. So I'm straight away into the cuticle removal. I'm not the person which is uh, overdoing this uh, process because usually they are growing faster and thicker if you overdo it. So just a really little bit removed. I mean, it still looks decent. <laughs> we shouldn't be overdoing the nail folds like And basically what I'm doing, like I'm moving it and then I can feel it, which place is safe to cut it. And 
and I'm using two millimeter cuticle nippers. They are actually fantastic. They're so precise. I love them, but unfortunately they are out of stock. I'm so sorry, guys. I will try to get a hold of them somehow. Actually, this part is so satisfying, <laughs> isn't it? Mm And the last one. So there is a white part and I'm just closing the cuticle, the nippers over the cuticle to trim it. Okay, we've got this part done. Now, before I start buffing, uh, I quite like to often use the tiny bit of the boost scrub to clean the nail plate so I don't introduce any oils uh, when I'm using the uh, buffer. Uh, but we also have to do those two extensions, so we will start with that and then we can move on into the uh, other natural new sculpting forms. Roll it in between the fingers, and then hide the client view and slide it underneath. When I'm doing such a short extensions, I'm not bothered how I'm closing the form on those parts as much uh, because uh, we are not reaching as, as, as slow. Now on this one, you can guys see it, I need to trim the form. If I wouldn't, I will miss a really big gap. So I'm just taking the scissors and we are going to cut it out where the nail is broken. Like not broken. So we're cutting where the nail is full and then the broken side is going to fill up more. So it should be just about that. Let's relax it. Yeah, I can match it, but then I want to slide it slightly more inside. So I need to cut out like a tiny bit more in here. So a wee touch more. Perfect. And now I can slide it underneath of the natural nail and then close the form. Uh, extra nail prep and then universal air bond. We are going to use the fiber in the bottle, satin pink. This is a very short extension, so I can easily use the product in a bottle to build up the very small extension. Apply it nice and thin layer over the natural nail, and then at the joint place, I'm always applying a little bit more. Put back inside to the lamp. Once this nail is curing, I've got the time to prep the natural nails for a gel polish application. So I'm using a 100 grit buffer to remove the shine from the nails. Like make sure you always touch the free edge as well so there is no fluffy bits and pieces uh, underneath because that can cause the chipping of the product. It's really important that it's uh, like no loose nail underneath. So I'm holding the file at the angle to clean those places. Like when the nails are prepped this way, the products always, oh, that was a fluff which I was talking about. Then the, they are going to last absolutely fantastic. Okay, I take the other hand. 
So that gives me a time to cure this nail. And now I can do a small extension on this one. Again, pick up the scoop. Inside. If it's needed, you can use the e-file or the other side of your cuticle pusher to tidy up on the sides. Then remove the dust. Dehydrate and then we can apply the base. So I'm dehydrating. Extra dehydrator. Perfect. I take your other hand. Now we need to give a little bit of strength to it. They are very short extensions, but obviously we cannot leave them as flat because uh, any kind of extensions need a little bit of structure. So once I have built it up my free edge, I'm applying nice and thin layer and then we can add a little bit of apex in there. It's the tiniest apex ever really. inside and again I've got time to apply the base gel so for the natural nails I, I apply the base twice one as a very thin layer applied with the sponge okay I'm really rubbing the product well first of all like around the cuticle area you are going to have a neater application and then secondly uh, the growth is not going to be as visible and then by the third number, they are lasting better as well, because such a thin layer of the base is really attaching well to the natural nail. And it works like an um it works like a really good base for your normal base layer. Change. So I cured it, then this one is ready. Apex on this one. So this is my procedure when I'm doing like a client's natural nails and it does happen that one or two nails are broken. I would say up to three nails is okay to, to extend it like this. Anything more than three nails would be a obviously different service. Because uh, that means they are prone for breakage. Perfect change. Second layer of the base and now I can apply it a little bit thicker. To be honest, if I would apply the gel polish on top of this space, it will look fun it will last fantastic. But what I find it like um the gel polishes has changed it and they harder and harder to soak off because like every client and everyone wants the longest lasting possible news. Um also the better coverage as well. So um I'm applying this thin layer of the base more for the removal process. So later on when the client comes back to remove this color, I'm just e-filing it, the color off, right to this layer of the base, which protects the natural nail from filing. So just a nice layer, cut the free edge. And this hand is ready, so I can remove the form from this nail as well, and now shape those nails. Nice and straight. Nice and straight. Okay, file the free edge. 
blend everything around the cuticle area. And those type of extensions, you want them really to look like as much natural as possible. Uh, otherwise, it wouldn't look nice like uh, to have like a much thicker structure than the natural nail. It will really stand out from the rest of the nail. So I'm always doing it really as similar as possible to the natural nail. And when the client comes back to change the color, I'm just treating it the same way like I do with the rest of the nails. So I will just file the color away. And uh, basically that's it. You don't have to fill it up again with the product because it's so thin around the cuticle area. It was just to extend the free edge. And quite often we're shortening those nails as well, like when they come in for a um, color change, that there is even no uh, need of filling it up again with the harder product. Okay, and then we are going to buff it, so buff all the nails. Actually going to scrape it first, then buff it. And this one as well. Clean the dust. Dehydrate. Extra dehydrator. You don't need to apply it on the um, other nails because they've got already some product in there. And then the base gel. Same, we don't have to apply the base gel. Okay, rubbed it really well inside. And now I'm actually going to do some baby boomer in white with some beautiful neon design. Uh, so to do the baby boomer on top of the natural nails, ideally you want to apply the top coat over the base. If you've got some kind of milky color, you could apply also the milky color as well. And I actually got some. Um, to get the milky color, what you could do is in a bottle, mix 155 sweet side with the Soko top gel. So just a drop of this color and that will give you a really nice milky color. actually show you so I'm just going to put the drop of 155 like really a drop okay two drops <laughs> two drops and this color would be fantastic for French manicure as well uh, with tips for you guys so just shake it really well uh, swap your hands for a second just so I know where I am. I will quickly apply base gel here as well and then show you the color which we have created. Amazing for a natural nails for a baby boomers and for a French application. 
See, some people got a really nice uh, color of the new bed and some people don't. So it is a great way of creating a baby merchant. So should maybe one more drop. It's too see-through. Yeah, I'm just going to add one more drop. I have used it uh, like a kind of clear gel polish. It has to have those inhibition layers. So remember, you cannot mix it with the uh, you cannot mix it with the high shine no wipe top gel because it uh, it doesn't have the inhibition layer. So sometimes, if you would like to work like one uh, one layer on top of another layer, it wouldn't stick in well. So choose the product which has inhibition layer. I'm getting there. I'm really getting there. And ideally you want to do your mixture before you have your client. Um, just so you can really mix it well and the air bubbles are gone as well. Fantastic. So if I would be applying a red color on those needles, I would take the sponge and I would wipe away the excess of the base gel. This will prevent any sliding of the product or a bleeding of the product. Okay, and now we are going to apply those see-through color. It's is see through because we have mixed it with the clear, but it has those pink sheet. Uh, I hope the camera can catch it. Um, it just gives this nice and healthy look to the new bed, and I love those combination of the color, like with the French, French and baby boomer. I've got some flaps in there. So just apply it in change on the other nails we don't have to apply it at end because I have used those um, very light color already in there change and then we are going to put the top coat over it the reason for putting the top coat over it is we want to have a really nice blending and if I wouldn't put the top coat uh, over it and just go straight away with the baby boomer application or any other ombre color application uh, it would be really time consuming because of those inhibition layer so I really want to get rid of those inhibition layer okay So top coat over it, change. Same in here. Top coat over it. I'm capping the free edge as well when I'm squeezing the brush. Perfect, change. And now it's the time for buffing. So it's an old inhibition layer uh, top coat, which means I can buff it to create a couple of scratches. To do the baby boom and you can see it how nice color we we have created of the new bed absolutely beautiful and um, also ideally um it's good if you use the same brand for mixing the colors okay and um, i'm not like not every brand um you can mix the colors uh, i wouldn't mix like brand a big brand b um just because chemically they wouldn't match and you might have some maybe product separation or some issues with the lasting time. Okay, so my nails are buffed and they're ready for a baby boomer application. Just going to be a little bit more fussy. So doing a little bit more When all the filing is done. And now we can do the baby boomer. Can I take your other hand? Now we are going to do exactly the same on the other hand.
remove the dust and that's us ready for designing those nails. So blue scrap. And now baby boomer. For baby boomer I'm using the sponges and uh, a paint on French gel. So that's the paint on French gel. And we want it to quite, quite high up. It will look actually really pretty even on its own. <laughs> and then on top of it we will create a really nice design. You have guys seen me doing a baby boomer many times. On the natural nails it's more difficult because there is no free edge uh, like you do have with the extensions. So you need to kind of more watch uh, on the sides for not touching the client's nail folds. So what I'm doing is I'm pulling the nail folds down. And we're going to apply it pretty high up just so the design look nice on it. And set. Okay, same on this hand. So the edge of the sponge, the edge of the sponge. Okay, so this way you are not going to apply it all over the fingers. And just keep blending it in. Perfect change. Round two. So now my sponge is going to be more pigmented, which makes makes it more visible. Because the first layer, I'm really concentrating only at blending the difference more in a pink than trying to apply too much color. Okay, now I'm working on my color. Watch your farm is not inside. Thank you. <laughs> okay, I'm kind of dabbing motion. So dab, dab, dab. And to be honest, guys, like check uh, how often it's better for me to do it more layers than trying to perfect the, the layer when it's wet. OK, so I'm not perfecting the layers when they wet. I'm really. Working through them once they cured. I don't like this part in here. Perfect change. Now, I didn't pick up any product. I've got some product on my sponge and gently I'm touching the nails with the product I've got on. Like we're going really high up. So it will look almost like all the nails are painted white.
and if you want to go for a very wide end you would just apply a thin layer of the product and then hardly blend it in so take a sponge don't touch too much at the free edge just very couple of the touches to leave it more pigmented perfect change okay so quickly same on this one i've got product on my sponge and i'm going pretty high up And I think this design is going to be like kind of more of the free edge designs are most suitable for Hannah snails as well because some of them are really kind of like a bell shape. <clears throat> so that will make them look also really nice looking as well. Okay, my sponge and just blend this part. Okay, and now we it's a time for a design but before we do the design in case if something goes wrong and on the nails where you are not going to have the design I'm just going to apply the top coat so we are happy with the baby boomer and we can just apply the top coat Top coat again. And now fun part with the designs. Above the nails where we are going to put the design. I definitely need to put design on this nail. So for sure I'm going to do it on those two. Like definitely on those two nails. So just buff it. No, I, I'm not fan of the shape of the snail, but that's the way how the natural nail grows. Um, so I'm just going to taper it a little bit on the side. And at the end, I might fill it up maybe those places a little bit more with the top coat. But we'll see how it gets on. Okay, so we have those two nails and then the other two nails here as well. They are going to be actually a nice and summer design, but at the same time, not uh, over the top, so kind of my style. <laughs> okay, I'm just cleaning those nails and now we are going to prepare. So pick up the old stamper, like uh, for the pigments, and then grab some neon pigments. I've got yellow, orange, and a pink, just because I really like this combination. And on the old stamper, using the eyeshadow, we are going to, thank you, we are going to put, that's plenty, <laughs> we are going to put these colors in there, okay? So I'm just applying a yellow, 
orange and the pink kind of create like an ombre okay her nails are tiny so I'm not going to do it like a huge uh, pigment space and then we are going to use some stamping plate and I've got actually dilemma so I let my client to decide I quite like this flowers because it's a kind of the summery summery twist to it so we flowers with the leaves um, or we could do only the leaves and I also got some butterflies flowers maybe? <laughs> the flowers, yeah. yeah anyone the butterflies yeah. can be nice as well you want but it's, oh gosh, these leaves are nice too you choose <laughs> I choose, okay, oh my goodness one of each Oh, all different ones. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. I quite like the butterfly wings as well. Oh gosh, dilemma. No, we go for more exotic, like it's a summertime. Okay, so we will use some, and I quite like them too. Oh, we will do a little bit of everything. Why not? It's me. <laughs> more is more. Cool. So I'm just going to apply the on the stamping plate. Guys, the light is going to reflect it. I'm what I'm doing is I'm just going to apply the color on the stamping plate, just the usual way, and then we've got our ombre there and just pick up the stamper so we get a really nice ombre uh, effect. Okay, so let's do let's do this one. And this isn't metal scraper, it is a plastic scraper. <laughs> then pick up the design so I've got my design on the stamper and I'm going to stamp it it here Thank you, pa. Thank you, pa. that looks so pretty okay wait for it to dry and then we are going to apply top coat over it clean your stamper off from the pigments and we are going to do another design so let it dry apply the ombre Pick up design you like so we are going now for those flowers but they still got the leaves on them as well so I've got the design pick up in there and then choose which way I want it this way stamp it over it you have to wait for it to dry and then we can apply the top coat and clean the client nails so I'm just applying the top coat and because we have created those beautiful base from the with the baby boomer it looks so nice and pretty This one is dry as well. Perfect insight. Okay, now I'm going to do it same on this one. So 
So pick up the pigments, make a wee ombre. I've got two stampers, like one is for a good, uh, for a nice design, so it's all nice and good <laughs> intact. And then the old stamp is always for the pigments and all the messy work. And I'm using um, a blue scrap, which is very harsh on the stamper to clean it. But actually, this way is much quicker and... In a salon, I have no time to spend it with the roller and uh, the tape to clean it in between. So, I just clean my stamping plate, let it dry, and we are going to do the next. So pick up the part which I like, clean it, and then the next one. I think the butterfly would look nice as well. We can do maybe one butterfly or something. What do you think? Yeah. You know? Yeah? <laughs> okay, we'll do guys butterfly as well. Actually, to show you, why not? So, this is dry. Top coat in. Inside. I'm just going to quickly clean the hands. And the butterflies, then we do on all of them. Is that not going to be too much for you? No, nothing's no? ever too much. No, nothing is ever too much for you. Okay, so on the other ones, we are going to do some butterflies. I think it looks lovely with those baby boomer base because you've got like almost double ombre. Okay, so we are going to do the butterflies on the other needles. It is actually a new plate. I will give you the links, guys, as well for the stamping plates. I'm using the Born Pretty stamping plates. The joys of opening the new one, especially when you've got the news. Cool. So, now for butterflies, I will... I will go for tiny ones on the pinkies and we will go for actually doing an ombre in such a small design is almost impossible so I'm just going to do pink and like this And we are going for for 
okay for this butterfly I'm just wiping it off picking it up and we've got a tiny butterfly stamp it in oh that's so cute <laughs> it's very cute like absolutely amazing I love this butterfly it's so tiny okay so I'm just going to pick up another butterfly slightly bigger one I didn't clean my stamper because the designs we're picking up are so small that's that just saves me lots of time and I have pick up another butterfly and I'm stamping it there and we've got another butterfly in there clean the stamper stamping plate and the next mixture so let's do more pink this time pink orange yellow and the fun and the fun picked it up and stamp it I'm just removing the part which I'm not happy with and then apply the top coat Inside. Okay, and now I'm going to apply the pigments over those ones and we can create some butterflies in here so another ombre then the pink one and the butterfly I love this one the most actually buff them quickly first Yeah. Hi. Got your appointment for Niels? Yes. Oh, okay, I will be ready in a couple of minutes. Okay. Butterfly. Picked it up. Apply it in. This one is so cute. That's my favorite butterfly. <laughs> and then this one. This one is actually quite nice too. Clean the wee dots and then the one on the fan. And then I show you guys the final look. It's actually fun to creating those uh, designs because you can use so many different uh, different uh, stamp like stamper ideas and different colors as well. And definitely over the baby boomer, I think it looks so pretty. Okay, so I have picked up those butterfly again 
I will remove the half of it because I don't like full part of it. Because it has something on the bottom. Apply the top coat and then show you the final results after cleaning the nails. Yes, I've got the tape. I've got the liquid tape as well. I don't use it. Um, I just quickly wipe it off and um, it's really easy coming off. I've got my top coat contaminated with the cuticle oil or something because it doesn't behave. So this one is just going straight to bean after this application because otherwise it will really annoy me. That's why I'm applying so much top coat, guys. On a bonus for a lady that will last longer, change <laughs> and be a bit quicker. Okay, we are going to clean them a little bit. And then I show you the final results of the designs which we have created today. It was totally unexpected recording, but then Hannah says like, oh, just do something summary. And I thought, okay, maybe I will do something different. So I'm just cleaning the nails. Okay. Yeah, and my top coat didn't took well in here on this nail. Guys, I just run quickly for a good, oh, good top coat. Great, clean those nails and then show you the final results. Just so they're nice and pretty. And they summary, we need those colors, especially here in Scotland. The weather doesn't spoil us at all, actually. Isn't it? Last year was so no, much yeah. better. It's coming next week. <laughs> Is it? No, <laughs> I'm just being hopeful. <laughs> Oh, I hope as well. I'm going on holiday on Saturday, so I'm used to. Oh, enjoy. I'm so jealous. Mm -hmm. No holidays for me this year. Okay, so the last touches up of those set of the nails. And I can show you the final look. I'm using just a baby wipes to clean the client's hands. Like, I don't like those messy looks and like... Um, I don't want to overflow it with the cuticle oil. It doesn't look nice when there is too much cuticle oil on the nails. Um, so I'm never flooding it with the cuticle oil. Okay, same on this one. So just clean it nice. And then apply the cuticle oil. And I show you both of the hands. I think they look cute. Yeah, that's what we have created uh, today. I'm sending you glittery hugs and bye for now.